Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. We're doing favorites and you guys know, I personally love filming favorites videos because it's just chill. You know, we can just sit and talk and be makeup lovers together. Actually, not even just makeup, I have skincare stuff this month too. I am serious about my foundations because I am serious about my skin. I obviously want my skin to look as flawless as it possibly can. This has become my absolute favorite foundation in the entire world, and I say that with an exclamation point at the end because I'm so sure of it. So this is the NARS Natural Radiant Longwear Foundation. It did just come out this month, but honestly, you guys, sometimes you just, you just, you just know. And I have used this pretty much every day. Honestly, not even just pretty much. I have literally used this every single day since I tried it because it makes my skin look so natural, but on the radiant side, it's not that matte, but it's not oily at all. And it is so long wearing, you guys. It is insane. Some of you guys might know this story because I've already said it on Snapchat and I think maybe one other video before, but I literally fell asleep with this on, woke up the next morning, was late for a flight, had to jump on the plane and I wore this the entire next day. So I wore it for a full 24 hours and I'm telling you, nobody could even tell that I was wearing like my makeup from the day before. It was really crazy actually. It was like shocking to me, but it just looks so good for so long. I usually go in with like double layer, I double layer it on. So it's definitely a full coverage foundation. I am wearing it today and I've pretty much been wearing it every single day since I tried it out. So there you go best foundation ever. On the other side of the spectrum, I did wanna talk about something that, you know, is more for my natural days when I'm not wearing makeup. I've been using this. This is the Herborean Korean Skincare <laughs> Korean Skincare Therapy CC Cream. This secret, wow, it's a thing. I can't talk now and I'm getting so many messages. As soon as I start filming, all of a sudden, it's like I become the most popular person in the world and then everyone's trying to get a hold of me. My mom's calling me, my dad's calling me. I don't even know, Asian Art Block is calling me. Like everybody on the face of this earth, as soon as I start to film, tries to call me, but it's okay. Okay, so this CC cream. I've personally never been like a huge fan of CC creams because you guys know me. Normally I'm very like zero to a hundred. I'm either wearing no makeup at all or full glam. But this CC cream has honestly kind of changed my life. It has the coolest formula. It comes out white, but as you blend it into your skin, it actually changes into your perfect skin tone so that it matches you perfectly. Isn't that so cool? I mean, I just think that that's so like, innovative. It does provide light coverage and it has SPF in it. And I feel like it actually helps keep my face really hydrated while I'm wearing it, even though it is um, more of like a matte finish. I just really love it. I really like the technology behind it, that it is perfectly going to blend into your skin tone. And I love that it's a CC cream. So hopefully fingers crossed, it's like color correcting my skin underneath and helping me with like dark spots and just hydration and moisturization and everything like that. Fingers crossed on the skincare parts. It's always hard for me to tell, like, as far as skincare, what is actually working. Besides my Derma E Scar Gel, that shit is for sure working. But um, other than that, like, it is kind of difficult for me to tell, like, yes, this is absolutely color correcting my skin. Like, I don't really know. <laughs> but I will say that I love wearing it. I do feel like it's worth it if you don't wear makeup every day or if you don't want to wear like full makeup every day because it's just gonna give you such an even skin tone and it's your SPF as well. But I will say this skincare product, I noticed right away that it was making such a huge difference in my skin. So this is the um, Drunk Elephant TLC Sukari Baby Facial. Oh my God. Every time I wear this, my skin literally feels like a baby's bottom afterwards. Hence why it's called the baby facial. Again, a very innovative product, honestly. So it's kind of like a mask, but it's supposed to be a facial at home. It has 25% AHA and 2% BHA. That really helps to like get off those dead skin cells and they're chemical exfoliants. So they're gonna really do a good job at like cleaning out those pores. So this is so strong that you only leave it on for 20 minutes and then you rinse it off. Most um, chemical exfoliators that I've tried, you actually leave on like the whole night. This one is a little bit different because it's so strong that it can resurface your skin in just 20 minutes. And I'm telling you, it actually does work. Like I really have seen a difference in my skin since using this, but because it's so strong, I only use it 
twice a week, if even that, maybe even once a week, but it just makes your skin look so smooth and fresh and clear because it's really getting all of those dead skin cells and dirt and everything out of your pores and everything off the surface of your face. It's just awesome. So it's a really amazing product. I've been really impressed with like pretty much everything that I've tried from Drunk Elephant from this brand. The marula oil is incredible. I totally forgot to bring that today. Um, I'm at the studio filming today, I'm at Ipsy. So I'm not at my house, so I can't go get it. But yeah, the Drunk Elephant Marula Oil is incredible. Definitely try that out if you're looking for an oil to add to your regime, reg, reg, regime, regime, what is it? Regimen. Regimen, there we go. Back to our normally scheduled content. The makeup. Dose of colors, blushing berries, oh my God. I mean, I feel like I've said, oh my God, with like literally every single product in this video, but it's okay because I really love all of these products. And this is another product that I've been testing out for a long time now, for a couple months, but I just love the pigmentation of this palette and the pigmentation of these shadows. I'm a huge fan of Dose of Colors, like their formulas in general. I love their liquid lipsticks, their lip glosses, and their eyeshadows and their highlighters. But like, look how pigmented that black is. If you guys have been watching my videos for a while, you'll know that I always like, oh my God, that is such a beautiful color. Um, you know that I always say um, you can really judge a palette by the black in it. So whenever I get a new palette, I'm always like, that's the first shade I swatch, honestly, is the black one because I wanna know if a matte black is gonna be like a matte black or if it's gonna be like a, mm, maybe I'll pass on that shade and then use my, you know, matte cosmetics carbon black. But <laughs> um, this one is really nice and I love the tones of this palette. I did use this in like a smoky eye tutorial where I use the black shade as like the main lid color, but then I use the other, oh my gosh, I almost dropped it, I almost had a heart attack, but I use the other berry tones to like blend it out. And I just think it's a really beautiful palette, especially for like Valentine's Day coming up or just like springtime in general. I feel like these berry tones are so, beautiful, so in, and like very versatile, even more so than you would think with a palette with five shadows. Sometimes you may not use it enough to warrant the purchase, but I feel like these shades you can use so many times. I've used the black for tons of smoky eyes, but I've also used all of these for like more everyday looks. So this is a great transition shade. These two, this would be like a great um, outer V shade. I've used these to blend out darker shades and blacks and everything like that. So I feel like this is just a versatile palette. It has an amazing formula and I've gotten a lot of use out of it over the last couple of months. So there you go. Another thing that I've been using for months now, but I totally forgot to mention, I don't think I mentioned it in my December favorites. If I have, I'm sorry, but I'm gonna mention it again because it's so good. So this is the Fenty Beauty Stunna Lip Paint in the shade Uncensored. This is probably the best liquid lipstick formula I have ever tried as far as a red liquid lipstick. And I think this is the only shade that they have. Um, definitely correct me if I'm wrong. Let me know in the comment section, but I'm pretty sure this is the only shade that she has come out with so far. And it is a good one. I just used it in the video that I just filmed. Snap fam knows what happened there. This is the perfect like blue toned red liquid lipstick. And like I said, the formula is so good. The formula is like very lightweight, not drying at all. And honestly, pretty long wearing. I was really impressed the first time that I wore it because I had been wearing it all day long and I was eating and drinking and you know, just having a good old time. Almost like forgot that I was wearing a bold red lip because it's so lightweight. You kind of do forget um, until you look in the mirror. And then at the end of the day, I looked in the mirror and I was like, I didn't even reapply my lipstick once and it's still on perfectly. That was the day that I decided that this was an amazing red liquid lipstick to have on hand and I've been keeping it on hand since then and I really like the packaging, so yeah. I've got some highlighter to talk about. The first one is actually like an old highlighter, an old favorite of mine that I just rediscovered this month. So this is the Laura Geller Gilded Honey Highlight. I'm sure a lot of you guys have already heard about this and you know everything because it's kind of like I would say it's like a cult favorite a little bit. It is so beautiful, you guys. I don't know, like this is one of those products that you forget about and then you find at the bottom of your makeup bag and you're like, why did I ever stop using this? I'm wearing it today and I just feel like it looks so blinding but still just has that like wet look. It's not glittery at all. It's not powdery. It's not like too shimmery. It's just like a light beaming on your face. I just feel like it has the perfect tone too. It's like a really pretty shade of gold that I feel like is actually pretty versatile and um, just could work for a lot of people. And you know, 
I don't want to bore you guys because I know that that's a really popular highlighter at least it was at one time like I'm pretty sure everyone and their mother was using it so you know I'm pretty sure you guys have heard about it and those of you who got my Ulta Beauty favorites bag that was in there hopefully you know you had a chance to try it out and love it but the other highlighter that I want to talk about is a new launch from Hourglass and this came out this month but this was another one of those products where I'm just like I don't even need to try it out and test it out like the moment that I tried this on, I was like, yeah, we gonna be best friends. So this is the Hourglass Vanish Highlighter Sticks, and I have the whole collection here. There are five different shades. They range from like a champagne shade, they have some pink shades, a rose gold shade. Um, my favorite is actually called Gold Flash, and it's so pretty, like it's so pigmented, and for a cream highlighter, it just blends out so seamlessly. Like even when I'm blending out right here, it feels wet on the skin, like on my finger. It's just such a nice formula. It's very, very lightweight too. And what I've been doing, like what I did today and what I've been doing a lot of days this month is actually layering these two highlighters. So I'll take Gold Flash from the Hourglass Vanish Highlighter Sticks and then I'll take the Laura Geller Gilded Honey and this is what you get. And I feel like it's like a really nice payoff. It never looks like cakey or dry or powdery or like sparkly or glittery. It just looks like the sun is glistening on my face. And last but not least, I have one more product to tell you guys about. A lot of these products I just don't feel like I could live without at this point. So this is the Girlactic Matte Bronzer in the shade Cabo. It is not like warm toned and it's not too cool toned. It's very, very neutral and it's just the perfect shade for my skin tone. It's not too dark, it's not too light. Sometimes like I get a little bit heavy handed with my bronzer. I know you guys have noticed that before and pointed it out to me, but I feel like with this particular product, the powder is so finely milled so when you're actually like applying it onto your cheeks, you just get kind of like this airbrush finish. It's very difficult to over apply this bronzer, which I love because I can get very heavy handed with my makeup and my bronzers and my everything pretty much. So this helps me keep it under control and just helps me get like that very sun-kissed glowy look without being like a pumpkin in this area. <laughs> That's it. Those are all my favorites this month. We got through that very quickly. Oh. Another favorite, pencil sharpeners. You guys, keep your pencils very sharp, honestly, because I have realized this month that it is really difficult to get a crisp lip line without having a sharpener on hand. So that's my last favorite of the month. But yeah, those are all my favorites this month. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure to subscribe right down below and give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. And let me know what your favorites were this month or if you have any new favorites um, as far as makeup goes. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.